Hi, Mason here again from Gadget Coach. Uh, we've just done our unboxing video. We're going to now power up and get this device turned on. So I'm just going to grab, I've got the pin to put in the SIM card, just in the right hand side of the phone. Stick in the, the SIM card tray there. In. and switching on on the top power button in the usual spot here I'll just have a quick look at uh, the touch ID sensor just without the phone screen being completely on sort of it's quite it's a slight matte finish compared to the gloss of the glass around it very subtle uh, stainless steel ring around it and there we go it's our welcome screen Nice white background, very clear, slide to unlock, and we're in Australia, so we're going to choose Australian English. Second language. Just taking a moment. Select your country or region, in Australia again. Wi-Fi network, just going to connect to the Wi-Fi, I'm just going to type in this password. Join network. And there we go. And enable location services. Set up your iPhone. Uh, you get the option to set up as a new iPhone, restore from an iCloud backup, or restore from an iTunes backup. At this point, I'm just going to set up as a new iPhone. I do have an iCloud backup, but this will just be a little bit faster just for demo purposes. Sign in with your Apple ID, or you can skip this step. Um, Apple ID gives you access to all of the Apple services. So we're just going to sign in, just one moment. It's going to plug in our details. It's happening. Terms and conditions you can read through at your leisure. I'm just going to hit agree. I've done a few of these Apple devices, so I'm pretty comfortable. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Cool. iCloud. Do you want to use iCloud to access music, photos, contacts, calendar? Uh, I like to use it. Automatically back up contacts and have from my other Apple devices. Find my iPhone. Definitely good. Uh, new features, Find My iPhone allows you to locate, lock and erase your iPhone. And new feature, your Apple ID and password also have to be used before anyone can erase or reactivate your new iPhone. And do I want to use iMessage and FaceTime at these various contact details? Uh, not at this point, I'm just going to skip some of those. I'll just use it on, on the one. So I've just, just covering up some of the details, select one, go next, updating iCloud settings. Set up to touch ID, nice and easy, it comes up in the setup. Set up now, set up later, just going to go set up now. Set up fingerprint, scan the finger or thumb you normally use on the home button. So for me it's my right thumb, so I'm just going to place it here. Lift and rest your finger on the home button repeatedly. So three times, four times, five, six, seven. I'm going to do it in a different angle. Eight. Eight times. Adjust your grip. Keep going to capture the edges of your print. Okay. So touch the screen and lift and rest the edge of your finger. One. Two, three, so just moving my f using the edges and, and the tip of my thumb. There we go. This is about another four or five times. 
Touch ID is ready. Easy as that. Your print now can be used for unlocking your phone. Create a passcode. I'm just going to select one very quickly and uh, re-enter passcode to confirm. Touch ID for purchases. Uh, this is good rather than have to type your Apple ID every time you download a new app. Use Touch ID. Perfect for me. Set up Siri. Use Siri. Diagnostics. I usually send this because the more people that do, then hopefully uh, the better the software improvements will be over time. Register this device with Apple. Always good for warranty, etc. Welcome to iPhone. Time to get started. Cool, so this is new iOS 7 running on the iPhone 5S. And we'll just open a couple of apps and just check out the speed. I'm just interested in um, the new processor just to find out how quickly things are going. So slide up, I'm going to access the photo. Camera would like to use current location. Uh, let's take a photo of the box. And let's try multi burst. Very easy. Let's go back and have a look. And burst of 24 photos and choose favorites. Choose our favorites from there. So fast processor handling those 24 photos very easily. And go into settings. Cool. Our control panel there and control center, I should say. And so multitasking, to close an app, nice and easy, just slide up. I uh, used to do a press and hold and, and then press on the X. So leave it at that. Uh, let's lock the screen. Slide to unlock, see if I didn't slide there. Um, I'll just show that again. Lock the screen at the top. I could slide to unlock, but I just rest my thumb on the Touch ID, haven't even pressed it, it wasn't a click, I just rested the thumb there and it's unlocked using the thumbprint. So there's a really quick look at the startup of the new iPhone 5S with the Touch ID, uh, new iOS software with the uh, parallax background, the background moves as you, gives a sort of depth and 3D feel as you move it around. With the startup, the Touch ID setup, very easy, multi-burst photo, uh, we'll have a few more videos looking through some of the features a bit more in depth coming very shortly. Thanks for tuning in. Gadget Coach on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and you are on our Gadget Coach YouTube channel at the moment, so subscribe for more updates. And thanks for tuning in.